Hi guys. Today we will analyze Domino's Pizza stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. Also recent evolutions are not positive. Both the long and short term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends. Support levels are around $370 and $350. Next support levels are around $320 and $300. Resistance levels are around $390 and $413. Next resistance levels are around $435 and $455. In the last month the stock has been trading between $367 and $413 range, which is wide. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 0.5 million. This is not a very liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022. Be careful. Intrinsic value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 12% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 11% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 96% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Domino's Pizza Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Domino's Pizza will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low. 6%. Future profit margin would be low, 10%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $202. Second scenario. Domino's Pizza will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 7%. Future profit margin would be average, 11%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 90%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $256. Third scenario. Domino's Pizza will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 8%. Future profit margin would be high, 12%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 100%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $319. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 13.59. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Domino's Pizza, analysts forecast growth rate around 8% per year in next 5 years, and future P around 26. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Domino's Pizza Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Domino's Pizza will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 6%. Future P.E. would be low, 16. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $156. Second scenario. 
Domino's Pizza will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 7%. Future PE would be average, 19. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $201. Third scenario. Domino's Pizza will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future PE would be high, 22. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $253. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $372, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. Both the profitability, and the financial health of Domino's get a neutral evaluation. Nothing too spectacular is happening here. While showing a medium growth rate, the stock is too expensive at the moment. Also, the stock has been in a downward trend since January 2022. I may consider buying the stock, when the stock drops below $300, and when it shows signs of reversal. Company Strengths Domino's Pizza is one of the largest pizza companies in the world. Domino's is primarily a franchise operation, that derives revenue from fees and the sale of materials to franchisees. The company has operations in 80 countries. The company has significant scale advantages and a strong brand, that allows it to defend its profitability. Its business model is a virtuous circle, in which franchise costs go down as the company grows, attracting even more entrepreneurs. Domino's has effectively integrated its home delivery, customer loyalty, and digital operations, which in turn has resulted in substantial same-store sales growth in recent years. The company sees room to grow its store base by 10,000 units over the coming years. Domino's asset light business model drives very high returns on invested capital, and allows it to grow quickly, while aggressively giving cash back to investors. The company has a return on assets of 31%. This is amongst the best returns in the industry. Its profit margin of 12% is amongst the best of the industry. Based on estimates for the next 5 years, the company will show a medium growth in earnings per share. The EPS will grow by 12% on average per year. The revenue is expected to grow by 8% on average over the next 5 years. Risks Absence of government financial packages, probably resulted in weaker customer demand during first quarter of 2022. In addition, driver shortage possibly persisted, and reflected in softer delivery sales. Continued commodity cost inflation hindered the company's margins. Long-term growth will be dependent on the planned massive expansion of the international footprint. Domino's will likely face increasing difficulty in obtaining domestic franchisees, unless it sacrifices margins in its distribution operations. The company has faced additional pressure in recent years, as delivery menus have expanded to meet consumer demand for healthy and gourmet fare. The restaurant industry is subject to intense competition. Within its segment, the company competes not only with other large pizza delivery chains, but also with many local pizzerias. Casual dining establishments have begun to challenge the delivery segment, by expanding takeout service, and by offering delivery as well. The company has a high debt level. Its short-term assets are not covering short-term liabilities. Also, the company has negative shareholder equity, which is a more serious situation than a high debt level. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.